I'm Ashton Addison for Investment Pitch Media. Outback Goldfields reported initial results from the first three holes of its ongoing and fully funded drill program on its Glen Fine project, Central Victoria, Australia. The Glen Fine project is one of the company's four key assets located around the Fosterville Gold Mine in the Victorian Goldfields. It is centered on a 30 kilometer section of the north trending crustal scale of Voca Fault, which juxtaposes Cambrian rocks of the Stawell zone to the west with Ordovician rocks of the Bendigo zone to the east. On the west side of the fault, the property is underlain by a 20 kilometer long by approximately 1 kilometer wide north trending Cambrian aged basalt dome termed the Glenfine Dome, where widely spaced historic drilling along its eastern and western margins have outlined numerous occurrences of gold mineralization hosted near the basalt and meta sediment contact. Previous exploration drilling intersected numerous intervals of significant gold mineralization at both target areas, such as 3.8 meters of 9 grams per tonne gold with 1.3 meters of 23.4 grams per tonne gold in hole CCD01 at British Banner and 3.8 meters of 5.7 grams per tonne gold with 0.8 meters of 21 grams per tonne gold in hole PFD031 at Glenfine. Two drills are currently in operation, with the first target being the southern extent of an approximately 400 meter north-south trending corridor of prospective geology between and along strike from the historic Glenfine South Mine and the southern Reef 2 prospects. Diamond drill holes 004 and 005 were designed to test for extensions up dip and down dip of previous intercepts in the northern end of Reef 2. Both holes cut strong zones of quartz reef such as the 5.1 meters at 2.9 grams per tonne gold, including 0.3 meters at 15.02 grams per tonne gold in hole 004, and or breccia hosted mineralization such as the 17.3 meters at 2.66 grams per tonne gold, including 1.3 meters at 10.65 grams per tonne gold and 0.8 meters at 9.31 grams per tonne gold in hole 005 in the targeted stratigraphic and structural horizons. Hole 005 intersected a zone of sulfide rich breccia with local fine grain visible gold at 148.5 meters down hole. The results suggested down dip and up dip mineralization continuity over 100 meters in Reef 2. Geological, structural and assay data from both holes will be used to inform drill hole targeting throughout the Reef 2 to the Glen Fine South Corridor. 11 diamond drill holes have so far tested for mineralization continuity of vein hosted mineralization along this prospective corridor, with further results to be released once assay data are received from the lab and have been interpreted. Here's Chris Donaldson, Outback Goldfield CEO, with a few comments about today's news release. Hi, Chris. Thanks, Ashton. Uh, yeah, these results are, are a great first step for Outback Goldfields. Um, as you know, we, we have four uh, fantastic properties in and around the Fosterville mine in the historic Goldfields. Uh, after acquiring these assets uh, last December and, and raising $11 million, uh, we started our phase one drill program in February. And so it's certainly a good time for, um, for us to, to be putting out some news and, and good to, it's a good start um, now and, and we should have some, some more news flowing. Uh, the results from the first three holes exceeded our, our goal for the area, which was uh, to test for extension of the up and down dip of the previous mineralization at uh, Reef 2. Uh, the next holes will hopefully confirm the continuity between Reef 2 and the historical uh, Glenfine South Mine, which produced over 40,000 ounces at 16 grams per ton. Uh, so as I said, this is, this is just the beginning for us. We have two drills that are turning, a third one that's gonna start on our Ewan Grun uh, property, which we've already done geophysical work on and a LIDAR survey. So we have a RAB drill starting on that uh, in, in a few weeks. Um, and it's a fantastic time for, for news flow as we're getting a gold price uh, tailwind and uh, certainly a lot of attention being put on the uh, Victorian gold fields as a whole. So stay tuned. The shares are trading at 48 and a half cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, outbackgoldfields.com. Contact Investor Relations at 604-900-3450 or email info at outbackgoldfields.com. I'm Ashton Addison for Investment Pitch Media.